The tenth defense against narcissism is selective advice seeking. Hi, I'm Dan Cassenti. I'm a cognitive psychologist and a novelist. I'm putting together this series on YouTube to help people arm themselves with knowledge to stay out of and get out of narcissistic relationships. So, advice. Advice can come from a ton of different sources, but advice is often connecting with other people to try to get them to help you out of a bind that you're in. So you want to seek advice when you're in a narcissistic relationship to bounce your ideas off of other people to try to understand what's normal and what's not normal behavior. If the person starts telling you about abuse and how you might be going through it, it's important to listen to them and to understand that you don't deserve that sort of thing. Um, narcissists keep trying to keep you out of getting advice. They don't want you to talk to other people. And that's why one of the things they try to do, and this is talked about in another video, is isolation. They want to keep you as an island in and of yourself that uh, you only uh, are dealing with personal connections to the narcissist. That's the best way to, to keep you in the trauma bond. Um, now, why did I say selective? There are some people out there who kind of lean towards not wanting others to get out of relationships, you know, or might provide excuses for the narcissist. Um, go, oh, you know, I think you're making too much of a deal out of this. Just because they, they flew into a rage and called you all sorts of names, those are just words. You, you can deal with words, can't you? You're not going to be um, giving in to that sort of thing, you know, throwing away a relationship you've had for such a long time over words. Yeah, well, if the words were meant to hurt, that's not okay. And that shows, you know, would you do that? Is that something that you would do? Or, you know, they might come to you and say, Oh, you know, that is wrong what they did, but they were just having a bad day. You're being a little too sensitive. Why don't you stop and um, just put this in perspective and realize you don't want to get rid of this relationship. Now, you tell that to somebody who's not in a trauma bond, they're going to be like, screw this, I'm out. I'm not listening to this anymore. But if you are in a trauma bond, that's giving you excuses to stay in it. You don't want to get out of that. You've become dependent on this person. So um, I'm saying selective because you don't want to just go to anybody for advice. You want to go to people who tell you as it is and who love you and care about you and want to protect you. And they're not just going to give excuses to a person who treats you so haphazardly. Your feelings matter. You matter. It's important to get out of abuse. You don't deserve the abuse. Nobody deserves abuse. You know, tell yourself these things. I mean, if you have a friend or family member who can, a coworker or somebody that you trust to just lay it out for you, they're going to be uh, the people that you want to go to for advice. And people you might not know very well. Just be careful because the advice could actually pull you back into a relationship that by all means you need to get out of. You don't deserve to be treated like that, and it's time for you to to find somebody who can reinforce that for you, who can help you to understand just what a bad place you're in, because the trauma bond puts you into a vulnerable place that you know you simply don't want to get out of. So I'm saying selective advice seeking, and you know I hope that you give it a little bit of thought if you're trying to get out of a narcissistic relationship to go to the people who you know you can trust to give you give you the information even if it might hurt to tell you those things um you know and again don't be shamed by getting into the trauma bond it is the work of the narcissist their best work is at manipulating people and getting them into these bonds despite their best interests so please don't worry about that uh, don't shame yourself there's plenty of smart good-natured people who've gotten into trauma bonds through no fault of their own. It is the narcissist's responsibility that you were in it. And don't let that go and don't let anybody tell you any different.
Okay, well, I hope this helped. Please hit like or subscribe if you haven't done so. Every time somebody does that, that just lets these videos get into the hands of more people. Okay, thanks, and I hope this helped you.